As we all know, it takes time, energy, and money to accomplish anything. The same holds true for whatever we want to do in Rotary. It took the founders of Rotary a while to discover that last item. Rotary was founded in February of 1905, but it wasn't until 1917 that the Rotary Foundation was by proposed by then President Arch Klump. Klump proposed establishing an endowment for the purpose of doing good in the world. This became the precursor to the Rotary Foundation. Some milestones include the Rotary Club of Kansas City, Missouri, making the first donation of $26.50. Like most fledgling charities, it was very slow to grow. So it is not until 1928 that the foundation is formally named and a board of trustees is created. The first grant was not made until 1930. 13 years after the foundation was created. It was for $500 and went to the Society for Crippled Children, now known as the Easter Seal Society. 1947 saw the introduction of scholarships for graduate study, the precursor for the Rotary Scholarship Program. In 1957, the Paul Harris Fellowship Award was created to recognize those who gave $1,000 U.S. to the Rotary Foundation. In 1960, the uh, vocational scholarships were introduced. In 64, saw the creation of matching a matching grants program where clubs around the world partnered on projects. 1978 saw the introduction of the 3-H program. It was entered on health, hunger, and humanity. The next year, 1979, Rotary spent $760,000 to immunize over 6 million children in the Philippines against polio and witness its success. Thus, in 1980, the Rotary Board approved a proposal to eliminate polio through immunization. In 1980, there were between 300 and 400,000 cases of polio in a typical year. That resulted in 1985 in the launching of the Polio Plus Initiative. That brings us to the foundation today in a new mission for the Rotary Foundation, which reads, the mission of the Rotary Foundation is to enable Rotarians to advance world understanding, goodwill and peace through the improvement of health, the support of education, and the alleviation of poverty. We have now come to the heart of understanding the Rotary Foundation. There are four granting funds and an endowment fund. The four grants funds are the annual fund, which is also called the shared fund, which I will explain in a minute. The world fund are donations which remain with Rotary International. The Polio Plus Fund and the Disaster Relief Fund are the newest of the four funding grants. The Annual Fund is where most of your donations end up. You must specifically designate your donation 
to the Polio Plus Fund or the Disaster Relief Fund or the don donation goes to the annual fund. It is also called the Shared Fund because 50% of it comes back to the district from which it originated after a period of three years. This is shown better in this slide. Let's say in the year 2020, all of the clubs combined in District 7040 gave to the annual fund $100,000. It would sit in the fund earning interest to pay for its administrative cost. After three years, $50,000 is transferred to the World Fund, which RI uses to fund global grants, and $50,000 is returned to the district in a fund called District Designated Funds, or DDF. It is up to a district committee to determine what portion of the DDF goes to local club projects, usually between $500 and $2,000 local projects, and the international global grant projects, which the district wants to support, which is originally driven by a club. The World Fund supports global grants in the $30,000 to $400,000 range. Many clubs in many districts can be involved in funding one global grant. The proportion from the World Fund is determined by the amount raised by the clubs and districts combined using a formula. It can take years to put together a successful global grant. Each grant is monitored and audited by RI. Every global grant must fall into one or more of Rotary International's seven areas of focus, which are listed here. Rotary is a member of the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. That includes the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, the CDC, or the Center for Disease Control, and UNICEF. Polio Plus provides polio vaccines, mobilizes community resources, and supports operational costs to immunize children, detect and track cases, and eradicate polio worldwide. Take a moment to reflect upon the magnitude of attempting to immunize the world's children against a pandemic like polio. The Disaster Relief Fund provides disaster recovery funding and supports rebuilding efforts. Contributions are combined into one fund and made available through the Rotary Disaster Response Grants. They can, uh, when you make a donation, it cannot be directed to a specific disaster. The endowment fund is made up of money or property left to Rotary International in your will. It is a permanent fund which never gets spent. Only the interest earned is spent on projects such as the Rotary Peace Fellowships, or scholarships as they're sometimes called, especially worthy global grants, and a few district initiatives. There are two main ways to contribute to the Rotary Foundation. Most Rotarians donate directly to the Foundation in the USA. In Canada, Canadians can donate through the fund set up in Canada to facilitate Canadian tax laws. Do use it. The Kingston Club also encourages its members to contribute 
$100 annually through the club's foundation and they issued the tax receipt. In the early 1990s, the club began the practice of making Paul Harris Fellows to recognize community members, both non-Rotarians and Rotarians, who have made significant contributions to the community and or the club by awarding them a Paul Harris Fellowship. There is no personal recognition for giving $1,000. Although as many as 16 awards have been given in one year, the practice is now to limit the Paul Harris Fellows to three community members and three club members. A banquet is held annually to make these awards, but not for members who give $1,000 during the year. Rotary has many ways of recognizing donations. These are four of the most common ones. The others involve giving in the hundreds of thousands and even in the millions of dollars. One of the most common ways of recognizing individuals is with Paul Harris Fellowship pins, which, as you can see, is quite extensive. Your first pin for a thousand dollars is without a sapphire. Your second one thousand dollars gets one sapphire in the pin. Your seventh thousand dollars earns a pin with one ruby and so on. Over the past four years, the club has averaged approximately fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars to the Rotary Foundation. Currently, we are behind for the 22-23 year. So, the bottom line is, it is up to you to help Rotary to do good in the world. And I thank you for listening.